Hello guys, it's Shazib of Freddy from Game Logics, and this is part 18 of how to make a Lodo game in Unity. Okay, so in the previous part, uh, 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 we had encountered uh, a bug, or you can say an issue with our dice roll button. And uh, as I've promised, as I had promised you that I will fix uh, that issue, uh, and I did that. But uh, unfortunately, uh, I deleted uh, that uh, button, and the reason was I was thinking that um, if you remember, uh, I uh, created an empty game object in uh, some of the previous tutorials and I attached uh, a button component to that empty game object and that was okay but I thought that that might be the reason that it's causing the problem and then I created another button from the scratch and I did the whole thing and um, the problem it fixed the problem but it was not um, basically the problem the problem was with our canvas okay i don't know what was uh, why it was it shouldn't have created that problem but uh, sometimes uh, uh, these softwares like unity uh, messed up things okay they are not you can say perfect okay so they have some bugs and issues okay so but uh, unfortunately i deleted that button so and uh, we have to do uh, that uh, we have to create that button again okay and uh, it's okay you will learn that it's not uh, uh, useless okay so let's do that uh, let's create that uh, button uh, yeah and let's name it a uh, dice roll button so it's dice roll button and let's delete the text we don't need this and uh, uh, let's uh, let's drag this button to this position okay and uh, let's change its uh, sprite and uh, it's our yeah and let's do let's give it the width and height of 130 and same here okay so we are good to go and uh, let's create some images um, uh, for our dice roll animations so let's do that mm. Dies one animation and uh, let's duplicate this and then we will uh, rename it four, five, six. Uh, okay, let's. Let's do this. It's the third one, and it's the fourth one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's the fifth one, and the last one, the sixth one. Okay, so let's do this. Do, 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 yeah. So it's done. Now let's. Mm, I should select all of them. So let's select all of them and do them. Let's together. Okay, now let's 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 attach the uh, animator. 
Okay, and let's save. Let's save it and uh, now let's attach uh, the animations to the respective uh, wow images. Yeah, dice two animation, dice one, dice two, yeah, and dice three animation. Uh, Dice four, dice five, and uh, basically for the six, it's not, it's not dice row six animation, it's basically this one the image. Okay, and uh, let me check them two, three, four, five. Okay, let's save the project and uh, let's attach their corresponding sprites to them for one it's this one yes for the second uh, it's this one okay for the third it's this one fourth it's this one fifth it's oh hmm. Fifth, it's this one. For the sixth one, it's this one. Let's check them. Okay. And uh, let's check the animation. And it would have been, it would have been already set. Mm, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Okay, because it's uh, it's a good thing in Unity when you do this in the uh, for the first time. If you remember, I had done this uh, in the previous tutorials and one of the previous tutorials. Okay, so it's a good thing in Unity that we don't need to do this process again and again. If if you have done uh, something once, okay, and if you delete that uh, button or image and you have done something with that. Okay, so when you create that again, that button or that image or whatever that uh, UI might be, okay, so whatever you have done with that, it does the same uh, when you uh, create it again. Okay, so it's already done. Okay, so it has saved our work. Okay, so it's done already. Now let's uh, deactivate all of them and uh, let me check it in the game manager and yeah it's not attached okay so let's do that it's our dice roll it's a transform it's position for our dice roll button and um, yeah it's the button again and yeah we need our button up not here at the bottom it should be below the ludo texture Okay, yes, so it's it's okay here. Okay, so 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 now yeah it's done. We have attached the button to our game objects or whatever or transform or and the button. So now we need to attach, we need to assign the uh, dice images to all of the um game objects uh animation game objects okay so let's do that nice one two three and one of you guys commented that um you just work and you don't uh play the game and it was actually a nice thing to uh to remind me that yeah it was a good thing and i should have done that before and we will check uh, this now okay because it's important if you remember in the previous tutorial uh, when i was checking the game so we encountered a bug okay so it's important to check uh, the game uh, at a particular moment okay so i hope that uh, it will work now so let's check it let's uh, do that and hope for the best
why it's not animating so when i checked it it was working perfectly this time it's what the hell is wrong with i don't know i checked it but it's not working again some Oh. oh, I forgot to attach the dice roll method. What the hell is wrong with me? Yeah, it will work now, inshallah. And uh, one other thing is um, we should. Should play the sound manager in the hierarchy okay it's a prefab so it's already done all the work is already done because it's a prefab now i suppose that everything will work fine okay let's see and finally finally as you saw as you saw okay so as you can see that uh, things are working okay okay so it won't work uh, again and again if I click it, okay? Because I haven't program programmed it uh, this way, okay? When it will work when time when uh, when the right time comes, okay? So as you can see, the animations are perfectly working. And let me show you uh, the second animation will be will be activated, okay? Will have been activated, so you can see okay and let me show you again it's spread again it will activate the right one animation okay oh it's again a second one the probability i think of second of two is higher it's fifth one let's see as you can see okay? so things are working perfectly and let's play the game from the beginning mm. And you can hear the sound of the two player game. Okay, so as you can see, these players are not active. Okay, as I have programmed them. Okay, as you can see. Okay, so things are working perfectly. And uh, let me show you the other thing. Okay, let's check the exit button. As you can see, okay, so it's working also. If I click no, it will uh, not uh, quit the game, it won't take us. Uh, to the main menu okay so no and if i click yes as you can see we are back to the main menu so things are working perfectly okay so uh i think that uh, this is it for this tutorial guys and thank you for watching and if you have any kind of questions or confusions problems anything if you don't if you didn't understand in this tutorial let me know in the comment section and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for notifications okay and uh, support me your support means a lot to me thank you guys for watching and uh, see you in the next uh, tutorial